Hi everyone. Today I am going to start my second video on abstract algebra. In this video I am going to discuss what is a group and some examples for groups. So let's move into the definition of a group. So let's say G is Z. Let G is a set and styles binary operation on set G. Right. So G is a set and star is a binary operation on set G. So if star is a binary operation, I think you already know from my previous video. So if star is a binary operation, then for every G and H and G, G star Let's go through the properties one by one. The first property would be the associated with That means for every x, y, z in g, x star y, star z equals to x star by star z. And the second property would be the existence of the identity. That means there exist E in G such that X star E equal to E star X equal to X. So that means there is element E in G such that if you do this star binary operation with any element, nothing will happen to that element. So this X is a such that for every x in g. Right. That means if you take any element from this set and you are doing this binary operation with a, then nothing will happen to that element. You will end up at the same element. Then move into the third property. This is existence of inverse. That means for every x in g, there exist y in g such that x star y equals y star x equals e. So then we call y as, then we write y equals x inverse. If the, these three properties holds by some set and there is a binary operation on that set G, then we call that G is a group, G is a group under this star operation. Right. I think you have got these three properties clearly. So let's go through some examples, then it's easy to realize what are, what are these three properties. So let's go to, the, go to the first example. This is the set of integers under usual addition. Set of integers under usual addition. So we need to find out whether this is a group or not. So let's go through the properties one by one. So first property is the associativity. So let's consider x star y star z. So since in this case, this star would be usual addition. So this can be written as x plus y plus z. And these three are integers. Therefore, you can add those integers in this manner. So what can you say? This can be written as x star y star z. So therefore, this set of integers is associated. Let's find out what is the identity. So, when you are going to find out what is the identity, you should know what is the definition of identity. 
if you take any element from this set of integers and if you do a star operation with the identity you should end up with the same element so what is the star operation in this case this usual addition equal to x x to x gets cancelled because these three are integers and you can say that e equal to 0 therefore in this case your identity is going to be 0 let's take any element from g let's find out what is the inverse of this element x so let's say inverse is 5 so from the properties of property of inverse you know that if y is the inverse if you do star operation with x you should end up with 0 x plus y because the star is the usual addition and your identity would be 0 therefore y equals to minus x that means if you take any element from this set its inverse would be minus x in this group therefore set of integers under addition is a group let's move to the next example the set of non-zero rational numbers under usual multiplication let's find out what is the identity and what is the inverse so first consider associated x star y star z in this case star operation is the usual multiplication therefore i can write this as x y into z since th these three are rational numbers you can multiply in this manner and i can write this in this form x star y star z so this is a associative set associative binary operation associative it is done so let's find out what is the identity let e be the identity so so then you should know what is the meaning of the identity so that means if you take any element x in g what should be happened if you do this star operation with the identity you should end up with the same element that is definition so in this case x and e are rational numbers and the star is the usual multiplication then you can write this in this form and i have mentioned that the set of non-zero rational numbers so x is not equal to zero therefore you can divide both sides by x and e is equal to one so in this case identity would be one Let's find out what is the inverse of any element x. Let's say x is any arbitrary element that was taken from this set g. In this case, g is set of fresh, set of non-zero rational numbers. Right. So, what should be happened if y is the inverse of x? then you if, if you do star operation between x and y you should end up at e so this should be written in this form because the star is the usual multiplication and x and y are x and y are two non-zero rational numbers and i find i found out identity was one therefore i can write this in this form and also i know that x and y are non-zero therefore i can say that y equals to 1 over x therefore i can say in this group if you take any arbitrary element x that's inverse would be 1 over x so inverse is existing for any element and there is an identity and the binary operation is associative so you can say that this is a group so set of and zero rational numbers under usual multiplication this is a usual multiplication sign is a group that's done next point to third example this is the set of n doubles under the binary operation of addition 
so i think you already know what is the end apples we are using end apple to represent n dimensional vectors like this a1 a2 an and ai are real numbers here these elements are real numbers so in this case also this end apples also associated because in this case your operation would be usual addition so plus i'll write the stacks in this stash you are going to add c1 c2 cn what is this type it in these two that is a1 plus b1 because this is the usual addition a2 plus b2 a plus b n this type is the usual addition therefore you can write this as c1 cn and this is equal to a1 Plus B1 plus C1. I get AN plus BN plus C. And also you can write this in this form. A1 to AN plus B1 plus C1 to BN plus C. And this could be written as A1 to AN. star c therefore this op this operation is associative this is really easy you can expand these things and you can get you can prove that these two would be equal let's find out what is e so let's say this is arbitrary element from this set and if you do star operation with the identity you should end up with the same element since this star operation is usual addition you can write this in this way plus identity equals and since this vectors consists of real numbers you can say that e would be 0 0 so this is the identity in this group so let's find out what is the inverse let's say y is the inverse and if y is the inverse you should end up at identity that means 0 0 0 since this is addition i can write this in this form and y would be Minus a1, minus a2, and minus a. -N. So I can say that inverse of any arbitrary element. This is my element x. Inverse of this element would be minus a1. Minus a two, minus a n. I think this example is clear for you. So therefore, I can say that set of n tuples would be a group under this operation, under addition operation. Right. Let's move into this example. The set of non-zero real numbers under this binary operation. 
so in this case binary operation is not usual addition or not usual multiplication so let's consider x star y star z according to this binary operation x star y would be 2xy star z so this would be 2 into 2xy into z and also you can write this expression in this set 2x into 2y z and 2y z can be written as y star z and this can be simplified in this form x star y star z therefore you can clearly identify that this operation is associated let's go through the second property and find out what is the identity in this group so let's say e is the identity that e is the identity then you know that from the properties of identity if you do this star operation with the identity you should end up at x and x star e should equal to 2 into x into e according to the definition of a star this is x and i have clearly mentioned that non zero real numbers therefore x is not equal to 0 therefore i can cancel x to x and e should be equal to half because these are real numbers so in this group the identity is half Let's find out what is the inverse in this case. Let's say x is in this set. That means x is, x is some non-zero real number. And let y is the inverse. Inverse of x. So then what should be happened? x star y should equal to and x star y can be written in this form 2x y and e equals to half and you can you can find out y equals to 1 over 4x because in this case x is not equal to 0 and y is not equal to 0 because the group is set of non-zero real numbers. Right. I think this ex example is also clear for you. And from this example, we identified that E is identity was half. And if you take any element x, its inverse would be 1 over 4x. And also this set was, this binary operation was associative binary operation. I think the definition of of a group and the, the four ex examples that I explained were clear for you. So in my next video I am going to talk about the general linear group that is also one, one of the specific group that is very important in geometry. So thanks for watching. So, so if, if I need something to improve or if you have any problems you can post in the comment section and if you have any friends you, uh, the, uh, who are interested in mathematics and who are interested in abstract algebra especially so you can share this video among others thanks for watching